Hello, amazing kindergarten artists. Last week, we read The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, and we all made our own dot, signed it, and then we're going to put them all together to make one large artwork, which is going to be awesome. Today, we're going to make another dot, but this time, it's going to be what's called an implied dot. Can you say implied dot? We're going to start this one by making the circle and then adding color around it so that what's left is the white dot. All right, let's get started. On our square paper, what do we want to write on the back? Our name. Next, we're going to start with a tracer, just like we did on our ladybugs. So we're going to put it in the middle, we're going to hold it, and we're going to trace our dot. We are all done then with the tracer and the pencil, so we can put those to the side. The rest of this is going to be watercolor painting, which is very exciting. So we've got our water with our brush and our palette of watercolor paints. What you're going to do is first get your brush, get a little water, wipe off the extra, and pick your first color. Now this is your choice. So I think I will pick yellow. I'm going to gently rub my brush in the yellow to get a little bit of color. Notice I'm not jabbing it really hard or smooshing my brush. I'm gently getting some paint. The first thing I'm going to do is not paint inside of my circle, but paint around it. So I'm going to go right next to my pencil line, and I'm taking my time painting around my dot. Now if I accidentally get a little bit in my circle, that's okay. All right, this is the most important thing we need to remember now. I have yellow in my paintbrush. Can I put my paintbrush into orange now? No way. I need to gently stir and clean my brush, wipe it, and now I can pick a new color. So now I can get orange if I want, but you get to pick the color. Now, just like on our other dot, you're going to do your color right up against it. So do we want any white in between the two? No. If there is white in between the two like this, how can I fix it? I can just paint it in there. Just go back and fill it in. And then each time I switch to a new color, I need to wash my brush so that I can keep the paints nice and clean for my classmates who are sharing them with me. Okay, I have painted my whole paper except 
for my implied dot in the middle. So my implied dot painting is all done. I'm going to put my brush back in my water. I'm going to use how many hands to carry my wet paper? Yes, two hands. I want to keep it nice and flat like this so that it doesn't drip. And I'm slowly walking it to the drying rack. All right, are you ready to start your implied dot? Let's do it. 